TikTok girly pops. These girls. A lot of different takes on this style. I tried my best with what I had, okay? This is a massive haul. But let's just try clothes that are inspired by the Duyin. Duyin. Girly pops. Hottie baddies. This is a different style for me. And I'm actually really liking this series. Shopping outside of my comfort zone. So let's go shopping. <laughs> I look like I'm wearing a diaper. Maybe it's just my shape because I am very short and stout. This looks like I need to go pee pee poo poo. Gotta go change. Oh my god, my butt is out. Face. Also, everything I got is from Shein. I'm gonna link it all down below. They're not bad quality at all. And I know it's very accessible and this could be very controversial. Let me just tell you guys a little secret. Even your high end things, it's all from the same manufacturers that Shein uses. I own a boutique. And I see all the insides and the outs. So this shirt has a really cute rose. Kind of makes you look like you have a third nymph, but it's so cute. Basically, the aesthetic of a doughy. Douyin Outfit Ethereal Fairy leg Dolly Mystical But then on the flip side it's also like Big and baggy tomboy Just depends on which side of the internet you're on I felt like this top really gave the ethereal Untouchable kind of Douyin style This color palette is to munch on And all this draping ruffle stuff The color palette isn't so like in your face Might make you feel a little bit shy to wear something like this out But because it's so neutral and like flat to the eye It's doable You don't feel like center of tanja Instead you're the outskirts of attention. This like mystical look. It looks like you shark fairy dust everywhere. You can tie and adjust it to however you like. Pretty much cover up so you're not too like boobalicious. Seriously, I thought this was gonna be a little cringe, this third nipple, but ugh, it's looking really cute. And the reason why is because it blends into your shirt. It blends into your skin almost. The cute little ruffles just like add to your little waist. Give you a little waist moment, a little shuffle shuffle to the left. Shuffle to the right. I'm very pleased. You know, I think I'd like it. But do. These diaper pants are kind of in. I feel like a lot of girls have been wearing them, especially with cute little big poofy leg warmers, knee warmers. Look at the little layers. It's like flipping through mail. So at first I was putting myself down saying, Faye, it's making you look a little thicker. Why do I have to do that? If like a skinny girl can wear this, I can wear it too. The only girls I have seen wear it are like very thin, straight, slim, thick. But I'm a thick fig and I'm wearing it and I think it looks pretty okay. From afar, it just looks like a little cupcake skirt. These are definitely shorts. Um, Again, a little too short. Maybe Coachella approved. Lansing, Michigan, not approved. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm like brave enough to wear this out on its own. I have no purpose for it. I'm a round girly pop. I'm an apple shape, okay? So I have a stomach, obviously. If you want to see, feel free. But with all this extra layering, with all this extra roundness, it blends so well. I feel like I don't have to suck it in or anything, you know? I'm so sick of sucking things in. I'm gonna keep the top, but the bottom's gotta go. Depending on what side of the internet you're on, you're either in this like mystical fairy era or you're either in this don't mess with me or my boyfriend will come in. You almost went 2K. As soon as I saw this part, the, the, the skirt and like knee warmer flap jack, I was like, yeah, DN. So this is a flap pocket skirt with detachable legs. So imagine this being like pants or something. <laughs> cut it in half. You could totally make this yourself. These adjustable sliders on the side allows you to tighten up your skirt, which I honestly don't need more tightening. I'll do it anyway so you guys can see. It didn't do much, did it? These leg warmers have the same concept. They're wide legs, so they flare around. I feel like my thighs look so thick in this. It just highlights how big they are. I'm sorry, but I can't unsee it. This skirt has these shorts underneath so you don't flash the suit. I don't like this like flap drawstring. It kind of just flings in your crotch. There's not a lot of flexibility to it, but I mean, you can still sway back and forth if you really need to. They're just throwing me off. I understand the concept, but I just don't know if the concept's for me. Maybe it's because I'm wearing it with this top, but the legs are just a little bit too distracting because they are so broad. I mean, overall, it looks okay. Switching gears to this top, we're going for that ethereal look again with all these strappity jacketies. It's giving delicate to have like these little drape ruffles just dangling around. Elevates your outfit with this little thing and these two little things. She was a fairy. And honestly, I just think that green really matches my redhead, especially forest green. So I just feel very one with the earth. I belong in the forest. It has a mesh layer that matches the strings. Straight across, giving you that square neck. I don't even know if I'd actually wear this tank because I feel like it can be a lot for a shy girl. I don't know if these two pieces go together, but I do really like the top. And again, the bottoms, I'm gonna pass. There's a little 
secret going on. Three, two, one, ta-da! What's next? This skirt actually is in a size large. If you actually pay attention to the skirt, look at this. It has this cute little V front paneling with like a good inch strap that zip zaps you in the front. It gives your stomach an illusion of slimininity and skinninity. The length in the front, beautiful. It's perfect for my five foot taller. And I'm a size 10, don't forget that. I'm a mid-size girl. And this large actually could fit if I just Sucked it in a little bit. I have someone to help me zip. I know I can make it happen. But then, like, what's the point? Because, look. A little too short, if you couldn't tell. Definitely gonna exchange this for an extra large just to have. Think about it for the summer. It's gonna be so freaking cute to wear a skirt. And show off this little cut in the front. Count me in. Look at the way it flaps out as an A line on my body, on my apple body, my round little pooch. It really fakes this little. I'm gonna exchange for an extra large. What would fairies on wear? a casual Thursday? What would a fairy put this on? This top is so freaking cute. It has a pretty high slit right like underneath the boobies into these pointed cone flaps. This runs diagonally across your stomach. Same idea with your back. Yeah, you just can't really tell because it crunches ah! up the back. I like it. I think it gives your stomach a moment to just breathe. and fake an illusion that it looks slim and pointy. That's one thing I'm really learning here is just to buy asymmetrical cuts if you have a wide stomach because then like you're just really focusing on the cut of your shirt and not really like the width of my stomach. I think. It's this mix of yellow and pink flowers and little daisies. It has a mesh layer on top of just a plain like baby pink top. Nice little elastic to like suck in the side. You don't have to wear a bra. It'll just like sit on your top. Like the chesty besties are being besties and actually holding it up for you. So you could just be free. There's a little bit of scrunching happening on the sides of the tata. I think it just gives you like the extra movement of your fabric to like conform around your tits. Peep the little lettuce lace keeping this outfit. I mean, I like it, but it's not like out of this world crazy. Mind blowing, mind suckening, mind fucking. It's cute. I think it's doable. It's very casual. You don't have to be like going for that fairy like baddie look. You could just be average Joe Miss Linda on a day. Don't get me wrong. It has all the ribboning and the lace. And it's very fantasy like. You could totally make this into like a very. Oof. Outfit, but that's all it is. It's just cute. I think it's super flattering on the girly pop. They're looking delectable high quality The fabric is actually really interesting. It has this scrunch type pattern almost like a dried-out mushroom The brown is really cute. I mean, it's like a very close copper brown color I think there's a way you can make this look sexy if you try but like we don't need to try where we're so sad. Just keep flattering square neck that just kind of cuts away the broadness. I don't love the shirt strap. It's not thin enough to be a tank, but it's not wide enough to be like a t-shirt. That's where I'm like having this discorrelation of whether I like it or not. It just feels out of my shirt. But if we're talking a little bit more everyday, this is definitely a little bit more everyday face. Miss Shy Girl. Scrunch it up or tuck it in, girl. Pick one or the other. You can't have both. So I was on Pinterest and I Googled Dugan style outfits ideas. A lot of the styles that came up were like these big baggy track pants. We're going there. Straying away from the fantasy look and we're going with a more like high school bully look. I love the like deep royal blue. Let's just uh, buckle it up a little. So it's not overflowing. You can wear it like this. It's giving me a kill. Or you can wear it just like wide leg but I'm way too short to have it out like this. I'll be tripping out there. I got this in a size large. Totally been fine with the medium. It's a little clingy. My food book to my onion peels. In the summer, you know we be sweaty. The inner thighs are gonna be like this, okay? I do not need to be going like this every two seconds. I mean, I do love the big saggy pockets. You know what, let me change into a different shirt. This top is a bit more readily for this outfit, for these pants. I'm not a fan of this bow I just made, so maybe that's like on me. I could work on my bow tying skills. It's a little tight on the armpit. I can barely grab it because I can't reach over because it's so tight. Shows a little bit of a meat divot. <laughs> Leave it. Makes for a nice little a tease. Don't look too long because it starts looking like a little cake. I feel like I'd be a tryhard if I were in these parachute pants out. Like, excuse me, I'm here to make a statement about what? You're here to buy more deodorant, Faye. It's Myers. Relax. Maybe I just need to change my mindset. Maybe I need to shift my attitude. What's the issue? It's just an aesthetic. Like a little shorter where I feel more comfortable, maybe, but like this. Under God, I do not trust in these pants. This outfit is bringing all sorts of ambivalent out of me. She is confused. Very debatable. I might decide to keep this. I might not. But for now, we're just gonna... If it's something you have to question, then it's a no. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's really giving arts and craft. It's giving you at Hobby Lobby and found this ribboning yourself. And hot glue gun did. By the way, I don't shop at Hobby Lobby anymore because they don't support women's labor rights. So. Even this girl wearing this, she's not even the race of the Dooyin girls, Dooyin girls, and she made it look so Dooyin. Dooyin. Do she look like the elf from Game of Thrones? No, Lord of the Rings. By the way, I finished Game of Thrones. Like I was always against like, watching that show because I just thought it was like so what. But then I got into it and I'm so pissed at the ending. Like who the Fuck wrote that. Just know he will always be the king of the North. Mate. He is the heir of the Iron Throne. Unless you're going to your grandma's tea party that she planned. You're supposed to wear like a dainty little DIY dress. Don't get this. It's just like way too much. Like the white lace. You went crazy with the hot gun glue, didn't you? Even this little ribbon that's just so out of place hides underneath the tata. Definitely had glue gun that too, huh? I got a size large. Don't underestimate these things, okay? Your mother's gift. Always three steps ahead. It's short enough. It's not too short, not too long. Not to whoop oh whoa it's a no for me miss targaryen Is actually an extra large. It's a very similar style to the gray one we just tried, but way worse quality. I don't like how unthick it is. It's just so 2000s Halloween trick or treating with a pillowcase. Obviously, the extra large fits really perfect around my belly. I just don't want the length. I mean, at least it's not peaking. And I just want it a tad short. I don't have a lot of skin to sacrifice. I do this way, but not like this way, you know? It gives a very minor V peaking right here. My biggest tip find something that has that little high waisted V cut right here. So tasty. I've always wanted a top like this. I'm not gonna lie. You can transparently see that it is inspired by like traditional Chinese clothes. I am obsessed. Gorgeous. Like I remember growing up watching like Chinese dramas. They would wear their traditional clothes and I just like would die if to tell. It's like. just so gorgeous. I admire it so much. It's a rare beauty blush pink color. I love suede. The neckline is just so freaking beautiful. It's like velvet. It has the black tracing. It's just so. It does run a little short and I don't know why it's tucking more under my right side than my left. So it's looking a little lopsided. I really hope that it's okay I'm wearing this. My beautiful Chinese women. Please do let me know your thoughts of people wearing inspired shirts of your culture like this. The more aware we are, the better we can be. For the heck of it, let's change the skirt. I am sweating balls right now. This little mini wrappity skirt with a dangling pocket that's functional. It's so cute, except it's so short. It has like this underpiece, risky frisky. From the front, it looks perfect mini size. Comes up right at the belly button, so it's not like your belly button's out and talking, but it's there. It has these two little buckles that you can adjust the strap. It holds the flap on top of the mini skirt. I like it because it kind of covers up the pouch right there. Imagine if these were shorts underneath, it'd actually cover up the little clingy, Camel toe. I feel like a lot of Asian skirts look like this. I just wish the buckles were a little bit like hardier so it doesn't look so flimsy. It looks a little bit too flat. I love how the pockets extend a little longer than the skirt so it just like hangs off on its own. Gives a little bit of edge. Guess we're keeping. This top is cute but I think it's a little too see-through. Very slim gem. Just on the chesty besties, there's a double layering, and if it weren't for that double layer, you would totally see everything. It's nice and light, but I think a little too nice and light. If you guys don't know, my favorite color is like this baby lilac lavender color, and so I'm obsessed with the color. I'm obsessed with the little scarf moment. We're really channeling this mystical fantasy creature within us. This is the only thing that makes the top. Cute little ruffle lettuce lace scarf literally was just extra fabric trash to them. Makes the top so much more weird. It's like I made it myself. It's like some ran wrap. You just wrapped it around yourself. It's not bad to the eye. Like to the naked bare eye, bird's eye view. It's not bad. I don't know. I don't know. Moving forward, I'll just find another scarf top that just has better structure. Guess we're passing. For the sake of being a fairy, I put back these diaper pants just to say no to this top. I move another 25 degree angle. You're gonna see it all. You will get your chance. So in the name of Tinkerbell and Dragon Tail, no, this ain't gonna work. Let me just do bare minimum and put a little string, a little thread to hold up the top with these two little magical potion beads on each side. You're gonna risk it all anyway. Let's just make a see through. I do feel like a butterfly, I'm not gonna lie. I do feel like a butterfly, but a butterfly whose wings need to not be spread. The sleeves have this bell-shaped, airy look to it. She really gave bare minimum, and as a woman with standards, say no. Clearly these don't go with the outfit, but I mean, it's there. I think with the right outfit, the appropriate outfit, these leg warmers might like work. They're kind of cute knitted with these gray shades. Kind of looks like a mermaid tail. Would I actually wear them out? I don't know, I don't think so. Skipping the leg warmers, skipping this top, skipping these pants. 
first talk about these leg warmers. I don't know what else to pair it up with. And we're towards the end. They run a little higher. I like that it's not at the knee. It feels a lot more secure. It makes my legs look thin. They don't look chunky. Thank goodness. It's leather on the bottom with pockets. Very extra. Very. The leather runs up, it's pointed, and then it goes into like just normal cotton ribbed socks. I think it's the ribbing that looks very nice and slimming on my legs. Very flattering, which is so weird. And then it like falls back at the calf. Looks like I kick ass, so don't mess with me. Like my legs don't look like they need to be butchered. I think these like diaper pants with these leg warmers feel very rave vibes. <laughs> And then for this top, I love it. I'm gonna keep it too. It's just like a normal crop top in this beautiful misty sage color. I was a little bit confused again on the straps. I was like, oh, maybe you wear it like this, which you can't. Nice and wispy. We wear it like kind of off the shoulder. I haven't worn like a nice little corset top in so long because you guys know with my weight gain, I haven't been confident wearing my own corsets or anything. I feel like my boost of confidence is coming back. Slowly but surely. The length is perfect. Right here, it's not too long, not too short. You're five feet tall. Like, this is honestly the perfect size. The length of it is very similar to my girl's night out corset, and that's... Back in stock! Oh yeah, it is back in stock! Yeah! Okay, these big, wide cargo parachute pants. Does it have to be this way? I get what you're trying to do here, like, I get it, but it's just so much. I don't even know. Even in this, like, balloon shape, it's still so droopy. There's just so much extra fabric that it looks like to try hard. I just can't find a good pair that matches me. Listen, Linda, I love the color. The color is phenomenal, but it's just... Look at it. The way it just, like, sits in this crotch area because I get sticky. It's just not gonna happen. No, 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 no. Nothing fantastic about the packets. And then too much droopiness on the bottom. Like, look at that. It's forming its own thing down there. I have fins down there. Not that stretchy. I mean, it is, but, like, it's really on me. If you're taller, go for it. I don't think there's hope for us five feet girls. Okay, so I bought this cardigan. Like, super cool with, like, the sleeves being its own little thing. Kind of gives me trypophobia, I'm not gonna lie. Fitted on the sleeves, but this cozy, thick, knitted balloon shape. Just this normal knitted cardigan. Very to yourself. The cute, generic, traditional buttons. I think this pattern is fun. Again, don't stare at me for too long or you might fear. It's cropped. It's really poofy back here. So gorgina. I love cardigans that give you a little loop, a little run for your money. Anyone, everyone you see, they're going to want to give you a hug. They're going to ask you for a hug because it just looks so like... It's a little bit too warm to have right now because we're transitioning into summer. But during the fall time, when you whip this out, girl, you're going to give off a little poo bear energy. It is staying in the fake closet. is worth it because we're transitioning into the warm season and because i'm sweating like a botch right now and it's pissing me off it's so warm i mean it's nice if it were still winter and fall like it's so cozy and fuzzy interesting fabric right fuzzy on the outside but it's ripped so then like it's every other just yeah. a little scrunchie tied up has this little v point which again i encourage you guys to find but then something with this is just not worth it. i mean some things are very do yen on its own but then like when you pair it up like this this does not like do yen even for me i wouldn't keep because it. of this curvature it just makes me like round not going for that i'm so hot in this sweat dripping down my top top my odor is starting to stink because i'm starting to sweat too much these pants though however i am pretty shocked i know these pants are a little clingy clingy to the fupa but i promise it's you it's not as sticky as those parachute pants i just tried it's actually a little bit more comfy the length is good they kind of look like basketball pants they make you look a little bit more sporty i think if this was like baggier because every doyen girl has Track pants that are like so big and baggy and like droopy they look so like don't mess with me kind of gives bully vibes but still Mm. What was my point? If this was a little bit more baggy, it would look kind of similar to their style. But then because it's like very fitted on me, it looks normal. It looks like a nice little track pants I can wear outside a little nice jaw. Martha, how you doing? Because the stripes on the side kind of shows in the front, it makes my legs look a little slit. I'm keeping the pants. I don't, I don't know why I bought this dress. It wasn't for this haul, I don't think. I bought a couple pieces that weren't for this haul. So I don't know why I'm wearing this. Like, it fits fine, and I like that you can snap in the front. You can put this on with a needy. Anyone's help. <laughs> Being independent, not relying on other people to help you. And that's great and all, but it's just too long. Like, if this was a little shorter like this, this would be such a cute little outing dress. I mean, look how freaking cute that would be. It has, like, the little V long back, so you don't have to worry about your butt crack showing and stuff. I really want to find a dress that, like, cuts you like a and then it poofs out into this dress it's a little longer in the front and the back rises up on the side i think it's so flattering on body shapes like mine do you see do you get my drift this is when i wish i owned a sewing machine life with no skills and with that being said that is the end of this haul i hope you guys enjoy this massive doyen 
do yun. Inspired clothing haul. I know you're watching this cut down, but girl, it took me three hours to film this haul. This is insane. I've been standing for days. I had lots of fun. I feel like I found a lot of pieces that I wouldn't normally go for. Until next time, bitches. Bye, I love you. Tell me what you do on a Sunday I I'm tired of all these Friday nights.